Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Legacy Challenge. So before we begin today's episode, I just wanna let you guys know that I do have a cold. So if I sniffle or if I sound a bit nasally or if I cough during this episode, I apologize in advance or if I sneeze because I've had some sneezes too. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that so you know. But in the last episode of the Legacy Challenge, Ray and Jake had twin girls. Their names are Anna Maria and Sasha and they are so cute. I love them. I was so shocked that we had twin girls. Girls. We also had Ray join the freelancing career and she hasn't even finished her first job yet So we definitely need to make sure that she finishes that because she's supposed to get like a good amount of money from this like a thousand dollars or four hundred thousand dollars something like that. So yeah, so we no, not four hundred thousand. No fourteen hundred thousand. That's what I meant So yeah, so Ray needs to definitely finish that and we also have Jake. He's just doing his thing He's an actor. He's been promoted a few times So we need to make sure that we're getting some more money because our house is kind of small at the moment and the fact that we have twin girls we're going to eventually want to make sure that they each have their own room so we need to try to do that in this episode we're gonna try to get enough money to do that but before we begin today's episode don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified when we post a new video and give this video a big thumbs up if you're looking forward to what's going to happen and let's go ahead and begin today's episode okay so we are at our home our Mira Ray Simself home. It looks like Anna Maria is sad. Oh gosh, okay, so I this is why they're floating babies. I got the mod where you can move the babies. So, oh my gosh, though, we only have $15. We only have $15, you guys. So I got the mod where you can move the babies. So now the babies are just floating. There's no bassinets for them. So I need to move one of them into this crib. So I guess we'll just, oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have one of them in there. And then, oh gosh, we're gonna have to sell something so we can buy another crib. So I will, let's sell this this couch for now. We need to sell another thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they're babies right now. They're not toddlers yet. So I'll sell the high chair for now. Okay, good. We can buy it. I'm gonna get a blue one because it matches the room. So I guess we'll have them just like right across from each other like this. There's a little bare space that's empty here, so I need to fix that. But yeah, okay, so we can go ahead and put our babies here. There we go. I wanna make sure that we can actually still interact with them though. She is crying like crazy and I don't know what's wrong. Maybe try bottle feeding her or Jake's gonna go bottle feed her. Or Jake's just, Jake's just trying to, like he has no idea what he's doing. He's like, someone help, someone help please. Okay, bottle feed. No, she's still sad, so she needs attention too. Uh, rock her and cuddle her and bounce her oh my god sasha is just sound asleep also why is her thing like waving back and forth like that that's so strange what the heck well sasha's like a little quiet one anna maria seems to be the one who's crying a lot yeah but jake's helping out with that so ray okay we need her to finish this job so we can actually get some money because we used to have two computers and we don't anymore so, oh my god, no! Put Bubbles up for adoption! We don't want to do that, what the heck? So we want her to go and freelance her. There it is. Chat with client, write book. She needs to finish writing her book. She's in the middle of writing a book right now. She had to write a nonfiction book. So resume writing the park in Fox Avenue. So how much, how much does she have left to write? She's like almost done. She's so close to being done. And then when does Jake have to work? He needs to work. He needs to have a comedy level skill of two. So he has an audition in the morning. So it is 9 p.m. on a Monday night right now. He has an audition in the morning. His comedy skills are already at two. So he should be okay for that. And then it looks like our little kiddos are, are, no, she's not sleeping. Well, okay, well, during this time, maybe Jake should start painting some stuff so we can get some, no, oh my gosh, we don't even have enough money to paint anything. <gasps> oh no, okay. Well, what can Jake do to help get money? Uh, there's not really anything to like sell around here. Is there anything in our inventory to sell? These berries, that photo of bubbles. Ray can sell this plant that we got on their honeymoon when they went to the jungle adventure. She can sell this book for $98. She can sell, I think that's it for now. So then I think Jay can paint something now. He can paint, oh, what should we paint? How will we paint a landscape painting? And hopefully we'll make more than, way more than $100 from that landscape painting to make up for the cost of, of, of actually making it. So, oh my gosh, guys, this is just, 
It's so hard. I'm like not used to having like no money at all. I'm hoping we do get enough money to get another bedroom. But so I was looking into like getting a bunk bed mod, but like I was looking at the Sims research for one and the Sims research doesn't have one. Oh, but Ray, she, what an achievement Ray has finished writing her book. Okay. So she next needs to, okay, well, she should probably check on Anna Maria, who's crying again. But like, what? Sasha is happy. Sasha is perfectly happy. Anna Maria the one, is the one who keeps crying. But after Ray does that, she needs to get her book approved. So how do we do that? We need to locate the book in Ray's inventory and submit it to the client for approval. Okay. Oh, oh good, I didn't sell that. I was like, oh gosh. Okay, send to client for approval. Approved. This is exactly what we were looking for. Keep up the good work. Yay! Did we get money? <gasps> we got money, guys! We got paid! Oh my gosh, finally! <gasps> we have a thousand dollars! That's awesome! Okay, I'm gonna just have her start another job. So, oh, she's carrying Bubbles. Bubbles is still in his little shark outfit, which I did not pick out for him, but it's adorable and I love it. And this looks exactly like Bubbles, which I love so, so much. He's so cute. Okay, so Ray is going to check for some more gigs and then maybe we should pay some more attention to Bubbles. But okay, so we want something with a higher level writing skill. Ray can already do levels, level, uh, writing level skills of seven and she would get like $2,000 for this. Should we do this? Yes, okay. So this one is going to take a while, I'm pretty sure. So what kind of writing or what kind of book does she need to write? She needs to write a fantasy novel. That sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, so write a right genre book you want to write a fantasy novel there you go oh she could write a motivational book because she's feeling inspired okay so we want to name the book the raven head mistress that's weird how about uh no yeah it's fine i don't care okay so she she'll do that for her first book the raven head mistress that's so interesting okay and then our needs so ray needs to use the bathroom already even though she like just started this book oh and then jake painted something how much is this worth this is worth 350 dollars. okay so we made 250 dollars from that so we're doing pretty good guys like this is actually great we're off to a pretty good start in this episode which i hope that doesn't mean that things are going to go downhill from here in this episode but uh oh, does ray still have that bladder infection that she had when she was having the babies she does that's why she has to pee so much so ray you have to go pee like now otherwise this is gonna be bad so in the last episode i totally forgot about that ray got a bladder infection when she was pregnant and it says it's from holding your pee for too long so i don't know how it's supposed to last for three more hours but it just makes her have to pee like all the time so she kept wetting herself she wet herself like twice in the last episode i was like this poor thing she's wetting herself twice she had twin girls that they were not ready for so her life is going a little bit rough right now, guys. I'm gonna have Jake do another painting. He can do a confident painting. And then Ray, she can try to finish her book or at least like work on her book. So write, resume writing, the Raven Headmistress. And then I think her needs are pretty good for now, like other than that, yeah. So another thing I was thinking with the twins, so in our Royal series, we had like, we were kind of thinking of making one of the girls like a tomboy and that didn't really end up working out very well because she was still a princess and there weren't that many options for the girls to be like somewhat of a tomboy, but like still a princess. But like we, for the twin girls, we can make one of them a tomboy and the other one like really girly, or we can make one of them like evil or mean. Like one of them could be a mean girl and the other one could be like really nice and angelic. So I was kind of thinking of doing that. And I think I would have to pick that somewhat. I don't think I have to pick that when they're toddlers yet. I don't think so. I'll have to double check when, when they age up. But when they are kids, we could definitely try to pick those traits for them. So I'm pretty excited to see. Yeah, I don't think that we would be able to have those traits for them, like mean and stuff when they're toddlers. I think we'd have to wait till they're kids. So you guys can let me know what you think. I think that would be pretty interesting. Also, like, I'm wondering if Ray and Jake should try to have other babies. Definitely not yet. I do not think we'd be having them anytime soon because we just don't have the money at the moment. But I think that we would still probably maybe want more kids or at least like I want to adopt some more kids. But again, we still need to have more money to do that. So we'll probably look to do that in the future. But I do love their room. We do have more money right now to decorate their room. But we also can make another room for them. I'm just trying to think where to do that at. It would probably have to be like an extension off of here because I need like a separate doorway for that room. 
So I'm kind of thinking of doing it right there. And then I might, if we have enough money, also add a bathroom to the master bedroom. So it'll be a lot of like little bits and pieces of things. So maybe, may, I'm not sure how that's going to go. I will, this is like a true test of it to my building skills. We'll see how this goes. So Jake, it looks like he's finished this painting of this little person like singing, which is really, really cute. But this one, we're going to sell the collector. So he's made like a little over $250 from that too. So really, I just have Jake paint and paint and paint. But he probably should rest a little bit before he goes to work in a few hours. So looks like he needs to use the bathroom. And then I'm going to have him sleep. Oh, maybe we should take our bubbles too. Why don't we take him on a walk? I almost said take him on a W because that's what we call it. I see around here. I was checking if he's around because if you say, Bubbles, do you want to go on a walk? He like will pop his head up and just like look at you and he'll get so sassy with you if you like are lying or if you take a really long time. So I, it's just so funny. So I wanted to see if he's around. So Jake and I, we say like, do you want to go on a W? Or like we say, have you taken him on a W yet? Because he knows the W word. So yeah, he's really smart, you guys. He's super, super smart. So Jake's actually, he's going to go to sleep first and then I think he's going to take him on a w i have to actually say w around here because bubbles is around here and i feel like he's gonna look at me if i say the w word so let's see what ray is doing she looks like she's something good happened i guess when she was doing her book but she's up late working i mean it's 3 a.m she's up late working we've got two toddler oh and then sasha's okay sasha's turn to cry now ray's actually almost done with her book which is great so we have to see what's going on with Sasha. We could bottle feed her and then I guess just like rock her and cuddle her. Oh, but what I was saying with the bunk beds before is that I was checking the sim resource and I couldn't find any bunk bed mod on there. And I was checking other sites too, but every time I downloaded something like it just, it wasn't showing up, something was wrong. It was really weird, but I think it'd be so cute to have bunk beds for twins, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. So yeah, that was kind of disappointing. But I think I did get, I thought I got a lot of furniture for like the kids and stuff, but I didn't see too much of it when I was looking in the build mode. So we'll have to see. I'll have to try to like do that again, but we'll, we'll just see if we have enough. And I, cause I want like different things to reflect their different personalities and stuff too. So yeah, we'll just have to see. But I don't even know if $2,000 $2, is probably not enough to redo their bedrooms or like to add another bedrooms and to have more furniture. And they really don't need two bedrooms until they're toddlers, which will probably be by the end of this episode. Episode. Oh gosh, but now Anna Maria wants attention. My goodness gracious, these toddlers are so, so needy. Okay, so they're just crying. You need to shush them, you know, make them be quiet, cuddle her. I, I don't even know what's wrong because I, I, unless she's hungry, but we fed her very recently. Ray's hungry and then she's gonna have to use the bathroom and sleep soon. So I kind of like that she works from home because she can take care of the kids, which is awesome. So she can stop and work and then take care of the kids whenever she wants to. So I think we already have something in the fridge though. So let's open the fridge. We have some, I think this is French toast. So grab a serving and then you need to use the bathroom and then you should probably get some sleep too. Oh no, she doesn't have, oh good. She doesn't have a bladder infection anymore. Good. Oh man, guys, it is just bladder infections are hard. Also, someone was asking about the slice of life mod. I didn't realize, but apparently they do lose their teeth when they're adults. I might delete that part of the mod because I don't want I don't know. It just like it's distracting to me when the others. Well, I don't. I've never seen them actually lose their teeth, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, Anna are you crying again? Why? Why are you crying? Okay, Ray. After you eat, you're gonna have to feed Anna Maria because I think that's what's wrong. And then you then you can use the bathroom. Jake's finally up, and I think he's gonna walk Bubbles. Oh wait, he was supposed to walk Bubbles. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, so he's walking Bubbles, but there's food in here, so something's wrong with Bubbles, and I don't know what it is. I think he probably just has to use the bathroom. I actually like, I love the shark, the shark suit. It's really cute and I'm loving it a lot. And Jake's actually got to go to work soon too. So Bubbles, do you want to use the, encourage Bubbles to do his business? Cause I think that's what's wrong. Did he go? I think he went. I'm assuming because the, he's not uncomfortable anymore. So I'm assuming Bubbles went to the bathroom and then, oh no, now Sasha's upset. My gosh okay she just needs to change her dirty diaper and then i'm just gonna feed her because i'm assuming she's gonna have to be fed soon and then ray needs to go to the bathroom and then she needs to work on this thing and then she also needs to get some sleep too but let's she's like so close to being done guys she's so close to being done with this book so i really think she can do it 
I think she can. Ray, you can do it. Don't worry. She's very energized, even though she's going to be tired pretty soon. But she's feeling very energized. So that's good. Wait, oh wait, are you done? Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened? Oh good, she finished! Yay! Okay, so Ray's done with her book and then she gets submitted. So sent a client for approval. Approved! <gasps> Yay! Okay! Uh, approve. This is exactly what we're looking for. Keep up the good work. Okay, well now what do we have to do? Wait. Oh, chat with client. Oh, that's what we were supposed to do first. Okay, chat with the client first, and then you're gonna get paid! This is actually a lot easier than I thought, and then you can sleep after you do this, so... Sleep. Yeah. And then, well, actually, let's have her, like, look for another gig first, and then I can have her sleep. Jake is still taking bubbles on a walk. Ooh, he has to eat something. And, wait, he's supposed to go to his audition! Oh, no, it starts at 7 p.m. Okay, I was like, oh my god, he's late! Okay, so he needs to eat something, though. So, eat some of this grilled cheese that we have in the fridge. And then, Ray, are you done chatting with the client yet? No, yes, you are. Oh, no, you're not. Okay, so this is the royalty report because she had other books that she had written before. So she got $400 in royalties from that. So that's not bad. That's like a little bit of spending money for us. So that's good. And then, oh, yay, okay, oh my gosh, <gasps> Ray got $3,000! That's awesome! Okay, they loved Ray's work. Their feedback included praises for bringing back fan favorite characters, adding a new twist to old plot lines, and introducing a wholly new interesting threat to be explored in later books. She's bringing back old characters, but this is her first fantasy book. Oh, whatever. Okay, so Ray, why don't you, before you go to sleep, just look for another gig. So you are still at, oh no, she's at writing level skill of eight, technically. So why don't you do, oh, there's a due date? Oh, I never saw that. Oh, I'm really glad we finished the first job in time for the due date, because I didn't even know there was a due date. Or maybe not all of them have a due date. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Well, Ray, you need to sleep. You deserve some rest because you've made a lot of money. Like, we have almost $6,000, which is awesome. So after Jake's done eating, does he need to, like, sleep or anything? I, no, I think he's good on his needs. So he can, uh, let's, like, do a landscape painting. Oh, okay. And then we're also going to, so yeah, maybe we should just go ahead and do this. Um, but we're going to have us go visit the the Salnor family because they're twins. They have twin boys and we have twin girls. So that's awesome. So I changed the twins names because if you saw the last episode, I wasn't a huge fan of their names. So we changed them because the viewer that made that family, they, they suggested names to change too. So their names are Dylan and Lucas with a K. So I think that they're super cute guys. I can't wait for you to see them because both of the twins, one of them looks like the mom and one of them looks like the dad, which is so interesting. So they're not identical twins at all, which is kind of good because like I'm going to get confused if they do look alike. And I'm wondering if our little baby girls are going to look alike too, because otherwise it's going to be a little confusing. So that's why it's kind of cool to have them have like the different personalities. What is going on with Bubbles? Oh my gosh, why are you petting Bubbles like 20,000 times? My goodness gracious. Okay, so Jake was going to, he's going to do sit-ups. Why? Well, all right, Ray, are you well rested? Because we want to go visit this family. You still have to sleep a little bit more. Well, then why don't doesn't Jake sleep too? So then this just goes by faster, and then you can both sleep. Uh, Yusuf would like to come over and hang out. No, we're leaving in a second, so no, you can't, sorry. But let's go have them travel. Hopefully they're going to change before they actually go to their neighbor's house. I'm hoping they will. So let's go to the Desal Noir family house, and we're going to go with Ray. We want to bring bubbles? Probably not, because... Ah! Yeah, let's bring Bubbles. It's fine. It's a house full of toddlers, though. Like, their house is definitely full of toddlers. So, I don't know how well that's gonna go, but we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. Why don't we knock on the door? There's a little kiddie pool out here, too. So, when our little babies turn into toddlers, we can bring them over here and put them in the kiddie pool all together. What is that? Oh, I thought that was a bird flying, but it's a leaf falling. Oh, my goodness gracious. It is fall. So, where are we actually on the calendar? Because I kind of want to see this. We are, okay, so it's like mid-fall, we still have like Harvest Fest. Ooh, maybe we should celebrate like Harvest Fest and stuff too. That would be a lot of fun. Okay, so, so, we have the toddlers here, so we can have Ray and Jake meet them too. So just so I'm gonna pause so you guys can see. So this one right here is Lucas, so he looks like his father. So I'm gonna have Ray and Jake both introduce themselves to Lucas. And then we have, where is he? And then we have Dylan over here who looks like his mother. He's, oh wait, Kobe Hub is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Not right now, we're at our neighbor's house. So, but it's interesting because I think, yeah, I think this is right. Uh, yeah, okay, so 
Lucas had he like his hair looks like his father's, but his eyes look like his mother's. And then Dylan's hair looks like his mother's, but his eyes look like his father's. So I thought that was so cool. So they are like really a mix between them. And then we have little Jolene over here, their older sister. She's still a toddler. She's probably going to be changing into a child pretty soon. So we have her sitting on the couch there. She's got her two little brothers. So Dylan D. Dylan D. Salnor, right? I'm saying that right. Yeah. And then Lucas D. Salnor. So yeah, these are the little toddlers. So did Ray and Jake, did they meet both of them? I don't think so. I want to make sure they know because I want to invite over this whole family for uh, our little baby's Well, I don't know. Can we have a birthday party for them? I don't think so because they're just infants turning up into toddlers. So I don't think we can have an official birthday party for them, but we can have like We'll have a birthday party for them when they turn up, turn not turn up, when they turn into children. So we can do that then. But I just want to make sure we actually like know the kids. So when the parents want to like throw parties and stuff, we can actually invite the whole entire family over. And I want to make sure we have like a pretty good relationship with them too. Because sometimes if you like just kind of have a small relationship with them and you like haven't talked to them for a while, they like won't show up on your guest list guest list when you want to invite people over which is kind of weird and ridiculous because there's been plenty of times where i've been trying to like throw a party and i'm like why is this person not on the guest list because they've totally met our sim before and it just doesn't make any sense so yeah so our needs doing okay because ray or jake's gonna have to go to his audition soon so i'm gonna make sure he uses the bathroom I don't know where their father is, and I don't know where... Uh, we're missing some sims here. Where are they? They are... Well, Lucas is out here by himself, and I don't know why. Ray's getting hungry. We should probably go home. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <gasps> ah! Ray doesn't have arms! Oh my gosh! No, that's terrifying! Stop! Is it gonna happen again? It's going to happen again. Oh, okay, that was her arms was behind her. Oh, stop, that's freaky. That's weird. Look at this pause right now, guys. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh. I've totally seen people jump like that and like dance and stuff. That is ridiculous. Okay, Ray, I'm gonna reset you because something is happening right now and I don't know what. Reset, reset. Oh my gosh. That's terrifying. Okay, you guys should go home. Jake's doing push ups in their bathroom. Okay, there he is. I was looking for Bruce. I didn't know where he went. Complain about cloudy weather. Just wanna make sure we like are familiar with everyone because I want this family to be like our best friends. Like, family friends that all these kids are going to grow up with. Because they have twin boys and we have twin girls. So then we have to be friends. I'm forcing them to be friends. We're going to have them talk a little bit. And then I'm going to have them go home because Ray needs to eat something. And I don't want to steal anything out of their fridge if we're trying to be friends with them. So, yeah. We'll just have them go home. Okay. So, it looks like Anna Maria is sad. So, we have to figure out what's going on with her. I think her new yeah, her diaper just needs to be changed. We're we'll probably bottle feeder too, because it's probably time for her to eat. Ray, I think she was hungry, right? Oh wait, she's not hungry anymore. Did she eat something while we were? That was weird. Okay, okay. All right, Ray, use the bathroom, and then you can eat something. Then you should probably try to sleep, and also then you need to work and make some money. So we, I'm a bit. Do I want to? age up the babies now we like just got their cribs though guys <laughs> i don't want to age them up like like right now i don't know well i wonder how much we can build with six thousand dollars that's not a lot of money jake's going to his audition suit but he's not going to actually make any money when he goes to his audition should he try to paint something before he goes is his all his needs up like ready for his audition yeah jake paint something ray you are eating something and then you're gonna have to sleep pretty soon uh you still have some time why don't you try to Right. Wait, what does she have to do? We have to write a science fiction novel, chat with client, get book approved. Okay, why don't you chat with the client first? Because apparently that's important. So why don't you go to freelancer, chat with client. Can you do that while you're eating? Because that would be very helpful. That would be extreme multitasking. It doesn't look like she can. Oh, it looks like the food's also going bad very quickly. So hopefully they're not going to get sick from eating that food. Okay, who's crying? Sasha's crying. Ray was so close to being done with chatting with the client, but we're going to have to put that on hold because we got to take care of our children. So she is changing Sasha's diaper and feeding her, and then we need to go back to chatting with the client. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, so I think, I think in the morning, on Wednesday morning, we will age them up into toddlers. So I'm trying to think 
Who would be what? Oh, Jake passed his audition. Oh, good. Okay. So Jake passed his audition. So he's got his gig in the morning. So we do have $6,000. So let's see what we can work with with $6,000. So I'm going to go. It's going to be morning at, or no, maybe afternoon. I just need like a little bit more light. Let's build some walls and then I'm going to make the room like back here. So this is going to be, oh gosh, I hope this isn't going to be too expensive. Ooh, should I make it like like a round room like that? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's do a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit of a, what is this called? What is the shape called? I have to figure out how many sides it has before I figure out what it's called. And then, and then it'll just connect to there, right? Yeah, okay, I don't know what shape that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, a, a hexagon? <laughs> Oh gosh, guys, <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, don't judge me for like not remembering that. Okay, this room is actually huge though. I did not realize that. So just to save a little bit more money, why don't we just bring it in a bit? There we go. All right, that's that's fine. It's a, it is a little big. Can we, um, let's, I don't wanna move, ah, uh, that, no. Eh, it's okay, it's, it's not too, too much bigger, it's fine, okay. So, and then I want to make sure the wallpaper on the outside is bright, and then we need to add some windows to it, too. Okay, this got, we got a lot of windows here. Maybe we, maybe we don't need that many? It's fine. It's whatever. Okay, so I need to get rid of the windows that are on the inside here, and then I'm gonna, what doors do we have? Because I want to keep everything somewhat consistent here. Okay, so now they have a door, which is good, and then we can get our wallpaper here. So, if I want one of them to be a girly girl, or like, g good. I want them to just be like opposite. So you guys can tell me what you think. So this room is already kind of somewhat blue. Maybe I can do like a purple theme. Do we have purple? I think we only have pink. I kind of want to make it purple because that's not as calm. Ooh, but this, oh no, I'll save that for our Royal series. So purple, 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 like this. There we go, okay. So this is going to be like a super fun and spunky room. And I'll probably definitely change it more once we figure out the personalities of the kids. So, but this, I think this is like, just, this is fine for now. So do we want it to, ooh, that's a little too dark maybe. Let's just keep this one here. And then, ooh, yeah, they need a roof. I was like, where's the light coming from? It's coming from the fact that there's like no roof over here. So, okay, roof. So we need it to be like one of these. So, okay, six sides. Okay, is it tell you what it's called? It's a hexagon! I was right. This is not what I was expecting. Like that, oh, okay, that, um. Oh God, guys, that doesn't fit on that house right. <laughs> okay. So, this is not really what we were trying to- can I make- how do I make this like- I just want this side to be smaller, but is it all gonna have to be equal? I think so. I'm gonna figure this out later. Yeah, I'm gonna figure that out later. Okay, we have $4,000 left to work with. I'm going to bring one of- so I guess this will be Anna Maria's room. This is just- I picked a random one. So, Anna Maria, you're gonna move over here, and then- we are going to add, okay, ah, uh, so I did, I downloaded more custom content stuff. Let's see, is this a new one? This was a new one. Okay, so this is one of the things. This is super cool. Although, why is it, like, just white? Like, does it not have any other colors? Because that's kind of boring if it's just white. Uh, what, ooh, this is fun. That's, oh, that's a little creepy, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well, there's that one, there's... That one's just white. What is this? The, uh, oh, that's a royal vanity. Okay. I want something spunky, like fun and, and stuff, but there's nothing that's like, whoa. Oh my God, that's huge. Why does someone need a dresser that big? That's gigantic. Well, we're not using that one. What about like, oh, I, uh, let's use this one, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Although, do we want to put it in front of, the, yeah, let's put this in front of the window here. And then I need to add some lights into here. So I guess all the lights right now are coming from the windows, which is a lot. Like there's a lot of light coming from the windows. What is this? <gasps> what? That's awesome. Uh, why don't we make it a little bit more spunky though? Ooh, yes. Oh, I love this pack, you guys. 
the movie stuff, the movie hangout one is super cool. It's like a boho theme. And fun fact, my mom used to think it was called hobo. And I was like, no, it's not called hobo. She's like, your, your style is like hobo. And I was like, what? <laughs> so boho is the style that we want. And we also want to add like a rug or something in here. We should probably add a rug in the other one too. Oh no, that's not what I want. I want a, I want a rug. Where we go? Okay, a snug rug. That's not exactly what we want, but like this, yes. This is what I'm going for here, guys. The crib probably doesn't match, but I think it's fine for now. Yeah, that should be good. And then I want some Pokemon in here too. Okay, which Pokemon? Why don't we do, uh, when we get their personalities more, we'll like figure out what Pokemon would like might be their favorite. Let's go with Jigglypuff for now though. Jigglypuff is huge though. Like, why? But I think it's still really cute. This is, this is very cute, you guys. I am actually really loving this. Okay, so, and this, is this a good bed? A good toddler bed for her? I think so. And then we have a purple little toilet for them too. And then I should put a toilet in here. How much money? We have $2,000 left, so we don't have that much. Also, like, what the heck, guys? So this is, I'm assuming, Oh gosh, I'm taking that away because there's nothing there. Like there's nothing here, but this is what came with the mod that like moves them, moves the babies. Excuse me, I just burped. Um, but I don't know, like it's just, it's weird, you guys. I don't understand. Okay, but oh my gosh, this toddler bed I am living for right now, you guys. This is amazing. Wait, no, come back. Oh my gosh, stop. This is so cute. Do I want this one or do I want the other one? Because the other one has a bit of pink in it. Then the oh no. Oh my god. All right, this is it. This is the one we're doing. Wait, but I like the other one too. <gasps> this is really hard to choose from. But I do like this one a lot too. Oh my gosh. Okay, well this is for sure her toddler bed. That is so cute. Why? Why is that adorable? Oh my gosh. Do we want... Is this one gonna go in here? This doesn't... Does it fit? Maybe it does. Does it fit? Am I imagining things? Um, I kind of like this one better than this one. But you guys can tell me in the comments if you think it actually goes with it. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. But maybe it does? I don't actually know. I don't know. All right, well, we're moving the baby. We're moving the crib for now. Yeah, I don't think that fits. You guys can let me know. I don't think so. I don't think so. What about... This is a purple one, but it has yellow in it, too. I think the styles are kind of clashing, to be honest. I don't... Maybe it's the wallpaper that doesn't really match with this. But, like... What other purple wallpapers are fun that we have? Let's see. And there's this one. Ooh, hey, this one, that's not too bad, right? I don't know, you guys. You guys can tell me what you think. I, I don't know if it's the carpet or if it's the bed or what, but anyway. So we only have $1,000 for now. So we're kind of running a little low on money. Can I make also this lamp smaller because it's just a little bit too big? There we go. Okay, so there we go. I'm happy with that. Okay. So this is, this is just what we have for now, and then we'll get some high chairs in like just a second. I'm gonna age them up into toddlers, and that is probably gonna be how we end this video. Oh my gosh, this room looks a little creepy. Okay, auto lights, set color. This room, make it yellow. But yeah, okay. It was just like, that's like way too, too blue or white or something. I don't know, okay. So I think Anna Marie is older, so we're gonna age her up first. Oh my gosh. Are we ready to age her up already? I just put the cribs in. I just did this, but it's okay. We'll we'll deal with this too when, I, I don't know. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so we're going to age them up. So age up Anna Maria first, cause she's older. Oh my gosh, you got, ah, there's a vampire here. Oh my God, stop. This is so creepy. Go away, ask to leave, stop. This is, we have children to take care of right now. This is not okay. Okay, so we're aging up our babies, guys. This is exciting! I'm excited! <gasps> Anna Maria aged up! Okay, so I think if we were gonna pick some, I don't know if we're gonna go with the goody two shoes or like the good girl and like the like mean girl or if we're gonna go with the tomboy and the girly girl, but I think that Anna Maria would either be the good one or the, the like, um, what's it, what did I just say? Or the girly girl. And that's only because of the Anna Maria that I know, which I'm saying that, so I'm gonna go with that for her. So I think she would be like, I think she would be the charmer, either charmer or angelic. Let's go with charmer. Let's do that. So we'll do charmer for her. <gasps> oh my God, you guys, and her dress is so pretty. <gasps> and her hair. I'm already obsessed.
obsessed with her. <gasps> I'm already obsessed with her. I don't even have to change her outfit. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so... <gasps> she's so cute. Can we please get a great look at this? Oh my... Look how happy she is right now, you guys. This is... Stop. This is so cute. I'm so excited to see both of them, what they're both gonna look like, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. Sorry, you just had to see that rough camera movement, but I just wanted to get a picture of that real quick. So, okay, next we have Sasha. So I'll have Jake age up Sasha. So more, and then age up. Oh gosh, <gasps> they're both gonna age up. I didn't even have to change her outfit, guys. She's perfect already. She's so perfect. Okay, I don't think Jake can get to her, so that's kind of a problem. Wait, why can't you get to her? Because... Oh, because, probably because of this. Okay, so I'll move that so you can get to the crib. So we're gonna age them up. Oh, she's so cute! They're already walking, which I kind of, like, don't like that about The Sims 4, is that, like, they walk immediately, which is kind of weird to me. So, yeah, anyway. But, oh gosh, okay, so Sasha aged up. So I think Sasha would be the... The wild one, the fussy one, or the independent one. Should we do, like, fussy? If, if Anna Maria is the char charmer, the charger, the charmer, then I think Sasha or the wild one. Let's do fussy. I haven't, uh, that's going to kind of be an issue, but yeah, we'll do fussy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she has brown hair. Do either me or Jake have brown hair? I don't think either of us do. That's interesting. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of her outfit, but like, it's already like very different. Like they already came out very different. Like we can already see who is who, I feel like. This is amazing. Okay, so guys, in the next episode, I will have their outfits picked out. But in this, you can already kind of see like their personalities just by like the outfits that they came out in with their, as a toddler. So yeah, so I'm actually gonna end this episode here. But if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give this video, video, video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And you can let me know what you guys think about their personalities. If you think they should be a tomboy and a girly girl, or if you think that they should be a good girl or a mean girl or an evil girl. So let me know what you guys think. I will have their outfits picked out in the next episode and we will get to focus on them being toddlers and they'll get to meet their neighbors, the two toddlers, Dylan, and Lucas. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!